To begin the social angle, we could continue and expand the point on opinion influencers, one that is specific to our new media environment. This involves one's routine consumption of these outlets, such that one develops what's now called parasocial relationships to these influencers. Parasocial interactions are new. Many past cultures, and some still, involve people idolizing household deities or being fans of some interesting people. In the advent of television, this type of social relations has gained intensity through the proliferation of mass visual culture, in which the repeated exposure to the images and videos of media personalities, back then mostly actors and actresses, primes the individual to develop private fantasies of admiration, intimacy, friendship, love-hate relationships, and or self-modeling about these personalities. Specific to the field of social and political commentary, this means looking up to someone to articulate simplified opinions about the complexities of the world that resonate to one's own pre-existing worldview. Rush Limbaugh has been considered as the pioneer of the opinion influencer phenomenon. Starting from 1988, Limbaugh's three-hour-a-day radio program has been nationally distributed in the U.S. Besides the obvious point about his strong conservative positions, what's more interesting and innovative about this new format is that it humanizes the influencer. Limbaugh builds his brand by identifying himself as a regular man, speaking for the regular person, on the side of the real people, speaking truth to power, and firmly on the side of the good, reason, and neutrality. Today, this set of rhetorical tactics is ubiquitous for internet opinion influencers. Every one of them has a face, has a voice, has a style, has a personal mission, has quirks, has evocative personal backstories of struggles and traumas, has amusing anecdotes, and each of them proclaims that they're on a side of reason and neutrality. Some of these figures go through publicized life struggles, deepening their audience's identifications with them. This format of parasocial relationship development is an intensification of the previous print media personalities, such as Hunter S. Thompson, and definitely a departure from faceless news article writers and the contained demeanors of news anchors. Humanization, or more precisely, self-humanization, produces the effect of parasociality, which interpolates both the influencer and their audience as associates of the same cause which is arguably a more effective form of opinion distribution and consumption. Their worldview is their brand, is their product, is your adoration, is your routine, is your worldview.